This is a 15-minute vote. The Tax Cut and Jobs Act is pitched as a middle-class tax cut. We're actually letting people keep more of their own money. But is it? Well, it's complicated. The majority of middle-class American families would see lower tax rates, more generous child tax credits, and a standard deduction that almost doubles. These are all changes that would help lower their tax bills, at least initially. But the House bill could also lead to immediate tax increases for some middle-class families, primarily those who itemize deductions. No longer would taxpayers be allowed to write off things such as moving expenses, student loan interest, medical bills, and state and local income taxes. Only three major deductions would remain on the books. Those would be write-offs for charitable donations, mortgage interest, but only up to $500,000 for newly purchased homes, and state and local property taxes, but only up to $10,000 a year. So that cap would deliver a big hit to families in areas with high local taxes, like New York, New Jersey, and California. Even the middle-class households that would get immediate tax cuts could see their savings fade over time. In five years, the bill phases out a key middle-class tax break and shifts to an inflation rate that would push people